Designs them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> channel I'm Lucy I'm on holiday at the moment we're totally off-grid this is what people who live off-grid do when they go on holiday they go even more off-grid so we brought my mum and dad who are over from England um, out to the East Cape of New Zealand which is one of our favorite parts of New Zealand it's so so magical out here we're staying at a campsite that is run by the Department of Conservation, the government body that looks after the precious parts of New Zealand. And um, it's totally, you have to bring your own toilet. So we bought our own little compost toilet. It's in a little tent. And there's been two or three other families staying each night and they've all got their own little tent too. Um, we're just cooking with a little gas cooker, usually on the beach. We're um, having our meals down here and just living at the beach basically, swimming and surfing. Ramona has managed to teach herself proper bodyboarding this holiday, which has been really cool, like starting off just trying out the waves and then now she's uh, catching them before they've broken and riding down the face of them. And she's got it down to a fine art. And Juno's just enjoyed digging in the sand and making sand cakes and all that kind of stuff. Just before I left, I wrote a huge 2,000 word essay all about kind of the right brain and the left brain and how they interact with each other with regards to learning. And it's been really cool for me. You can read that on lulastic.co.uk if you want to learn. It's all about kind of how children learn and how they live in their right brain, which is the kind of expansive sort of cosmic peaceful um, flow zone until they're about seven and then when they're around seven they get much more sort of analytical and strategy and details and stuff like that and I kind of spoke about how precious I wrote about how precious it is to um, have those seven years and how we need to really protect it for our children and not thrust them into early academics and force them into their left hemisphere before they're ready. Um, but this week for me has really been a kind of, as I was writing that, and I was writing it about children and brain development and learning, but as I was writing it, I had a real urge myself to live and move more out of my right brain, more out of that hemisphere that is uh, creativity focused and arts focused and, um, you know, kind of euphoric and nirvanic. And um, 
I haven't really spent much time in that place really for the last few months I've just been like working my butt off it's felt like in every second of the day I've just been trying to, to work and so this last week being off grid here in a really lovely part of New Zealand I've been able to just really live in that right brain and it's felt really important and really precious for me to do that to just spend a lot of time gazing out at the horizon and uh, wallowing in the water and <laughs> not really doing much at all yeah and I felt really like we need to do more of that as adults we actually need to resist the lure of the left brain to be busy busy and write to-do lists and tick everything off and plan 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 and to actually just spend more time just kind of wallowing it's actually really important if we want to be calm peaceful people and have calm peaceful relationships with everybody around us so that's my commitment don't know why I randomly started talking about that perhaps because it's been lovely for me doing that this week but it's also been lovely to see the girls have even more space with absolutely no time pressures whatsoever to just live authentically out of their right brain lush guys my shop is now officially open you can get yourself a super cool t-shirt 100% organic cotton fairly made they are totally epic I should be wearing one sorry it's a bit boobalicious I should be wearing one but it is so hot it's kind of like you just want to be totally in the nick here because it's just boiling amazingly hot so yep you can click below to head to my Etsy shop and get your own shirt in the post wherever you are in the world thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing if you'd like to come on board as a patron you're more than welcome it's a super cool little site you get access to quite a lot more stuff from me than I do anywhere else on the internet much love to you wherever you are in the world and remember to stay radical ah!